Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapt Looks, and welcome back to the monthly macro challenge where we set you guys a theme and you guys can go away and take some really cool photos for a chance to win some prizes. Now we got a lot of entries for last month's competition so we're going to jump over to the computer and take a look at some notable entries from last month and of course pick a winner. If you want to know how to enter uh, this month's challenge Wait till the second half of the video and I'll tell you exactly how you can enter your own macro photos for a chance to win. So here we are on the Adapt Looks Photography community page where last month's theme was new life. So we've got a huge amount of entries and a staggering amount of creativity this month. We've got lots of variety in different subjects from leaves to uh, budding flowers, insects, all relating to that theme of new life. Now, unfortunately, we don't have time to get through every single one of them. There are a lot this month, but we've picked our favorites. And of course, we've got a winner and a runner up. So first of all, we've got a familiar name. We've got Rachel's uh, budding flower here. We found this to be um, really stunning, uh, both in its colors and of course, its sharpness and composition. We've got that pure black background uh, and the flower just sort of fades off into the background there. But at the forefront here, we've got lots of uh, sharpness, lots of color. Um, and Rachel says that she lit this uh, with natural light, a reflector and some Adapt Lux diffused lights as well for a really fantastic result. Very well done, Rachel. Next up, we've got Christie's image uh, of some sawfly lava going about their evening, uh, eating and eating and eating and pooping. Uh, so we've got them all lined up here on the leaf, clearly having made their way through the majority of this leaf already. Um, and the composition here is really fantastic. It really focuses down on the, the lava themselves and uh, lets the leaf fall a little bit out of focus into the background there and into the darkness as well. Really, really nice shot. Uh, very well done. And thank you for your entry, Christy. Next up, we've got Harvey's leaf photo here. Now we're no strangers to leaf photos, uh, but this one in particular really caught our eye. The greens are really vivid and the lighting on this leaf is fantastic. We've got lots of um, definition here where the, uh, the different parts of the leaf are in shadow and where the highlights are hitting on the right side of all of that um, surface relief. Uh, and the sharpness is fantastic as well. Um, he didn't say whether or not this is a stacked image or just um, a really small aperture, but either way, it's a really fantastically sharp photo of a leaf. Um, so very well done, Harvey, and thanks for your entry. Now, next up, we've got a little bit of a fun one. Um, we've got Wilm's photo here, uh, rem remembering that um, theme of new life. Uh, if you don't get this, it looks like the, uh, the chick has hatched after spending um, at least 15 days in captivity inside the egg. Um, so very well done on a little whimsical shot there from Wilm. Uh, thank you for your entry. Now, next up, we've got a UV shot uh, from Mike. Uh, now, this is a really interesting um, type of shot here uh, of these tiny little flowers all fluorescing in UV. If you've not seen uh, any UV photography before, um, a lot of the results are really spectacular and this one is no exception. Uh, very well done, Mike, for your entry uh, and thank you for um, attempting a bit of UV uh, to mix things up. Next up, we've got Irina's shot here of, um, well, if you're not a nerd like me, maybe you'll be thinking, I wonder what this is. I wonder what these little things are on the eggs. Um, but if you've ever seen anything from the Aliens franchise, this is really quite spot on and really interesting, uh, not only for its, um, its composition with the, the four eggs and only one of them showing the little alien here uh, for its attention to detail of the Wayland yutani uh, logo on each of the eggs, but also for um, Irina's technical ability here. This is a really flawless photograph. I'm sure it's um, composited perhaps in some way, shape or form, maybe a little bit of Photoshop here and there, but it really works for that new life theme um, and it's very well executed along with the uh, alternative shot here of the alien. Um, face hugger hatching out of the egg. Uh, so thank you very much for your entry, Irina, and uh, very well done. Keep these uh, really cool, nerdy photos coming. I'm really enjoying them. 
Next up, we've got Christie's photo of some baby stink bugs all lined up on uh, a leaf coming out of their eggs. You can see the eggs down here and all of the stink bug babies on the, on the top of the leaf. Uh, again, the composition on this is fantastic. Reaching out into the, uh, uh, the negative space on the left of the image really brings the eye down that leaf. Uh, and follows the sharpness coming in uh, just as you hit these uh, these little babies just here uh, and then you carry on down that leaf and you see the eggs it's a really fantastic shot um, <laughs> one of many in this uh, in this month's challenge so uh, very well done Christy um, we really enjoyed this one for our runner-up this month, we're back to Irina, who submitted a lot of really nice photos for this challenge, but this one particularly caught our eye, not only for, again, that technical ability of getting this close and getting this kind of clarity and sharpness from something so tiny, but the unique subject as well. She says it's a Martian landscape, but we're actually looking at some slime mold spores growing on a leaf. Now, this was uh, very, very interesting to us. It's not something that we've um, seen up close like this before. Uh, so it's really, really uh, unique subject and it really works for that new life. These spores are going to go off and create uh, perhaps some more slime mold off on a different leaf. Um, but overall, it's a really fantastic and very interesting image. Uh, very well done, Irina. You're our runner up for this month. Our winner this month is Dibakar with his photo of uh, some caterpillars having their lunch on a leaf. Uh, now there's lots of reasons to love this photo, uh, not only that vivid green colour which catches the eye and the sharpness of the, uh, the composition there, but also the, uh, the unique way that this photo has been approached. I think a lot of people would come at this from the other side of the leaf, trying to show off all of those many caterpillars uh, in their full glory. But what Dibikar has done is gone to the other side of the leaf and uh, used some creative lighting to highlight all of those little um, furry faces sticking out from the edge of their meal. Um, which really confuses the eye for a second and you think, what, is it, what are we looking at? Um, which I think is always an interesting way to draw people into uh, a photograph and have them commit to figuring out what it actually is. And once you've looked at it for a couple of seconds, you can quite clearly see all of these caterpillars, the many, many caterpillars silhouetted on the back of the leaf. Another um, side effect or perhaps a main effect of backlighting this photo. So very well done, Dibakar. That was a fantastic image and our winning image for this month. Very well done to our winners. We'll be getting your prizes out to you as soon as we can. And thank you to everybody that took the time to enter last month's challenge. Now let's talk about this month's challenge. We're into June, so we need a new theme and some new prizes. The theme for June is going to be patriotism. A couple of months ago, we had uh, the colors of the flag for Ukraine, and that went down really well, showing a little bit of support uh, for the crisis in Ukraine. Uh, but I thought it would be nice to um, show off a little bit of patriotism for your own countries as well. Uh, being that we've got the Queen's 70th Jubilee coming up uh, this very weekend, uh, it might be nice to show off some of the colors of your own flags, or perhaps something that is meaningful to your own cultures. So make sure to include where you're from when you post your macro photos, and make sure to theme those photos around something to do with your very own country. The first prize winner for this month is going to be getting one of our Pro Cases, which is a really handy carrying case for uh, transporting and storing photography equipment, maybe even an Adapter Look Studio. The runner-up will be getting one of our mini tripods, which again is really handy for all kinds of photography equipment. If you want to enter some of your own patriotic macro photos for a chance to win these prizes, all you need to do is head over to Facebook and find the Adapter Looks Photography Community Group. On the top of that group will be a pinned post with all of the details of this month's theme and your photos go as a comment on that post. You can enter as many photos as you want and you can add more details in either the caption or as a reply to your original comment. I'm looking forward to seeing lots of colourful photos incorporating the colours of your home nation's flag and perhaps a little bit of its culture as well. I'll link to a couple of videos just here if you need a bit of inspiration on what you can do for your macro photography. But all that's left to do now is hit the subscribe button so that you're here in a month's time when we reveal the winners. For now, that is all that I've got time for. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.